Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And, well, guys, I am back here at Mudwater River, and there is a reason for that. Basically, what it boils down to is I brought the wrong stuff with me to do, basically be more effective at Tiber River. And when I came back, it used up pretty much all my travel. I mean, the, the travel took pretty much all the money I had left. Plus, I had to make a lot of repairs to some of the equipment I had. So, this is what I could afford at the moment. But, since it's not going to be a total loss, I figure I might as well come in here and try this bullfrog popper, and maybe some of the other poppers. I hadn't realized just how good those lures are. and I've, In fact, I'm going to try a few of the top water ones, but this one... Is just amazing in the Everglades and I want to see how well it does here because this is where you first really get the largemouth bass and possibly even trophy largemouth bass. So hopefully it's gonna work here as well as it did there and we'll be able to get the cash fairly quick plus I also have plenty of bottom rods so that I can fish off the bottom while I'm doing this and try to get the cash up enough to make the travel. But let's go ahead and give it a try, guys. Let's see just how well these poppers do. Now, it is the peak period. And let me see here. I've got it set to three. I can usually only get two on the popping. I, I try to get better than that, but I can't usually get better than that. Well, I thought something had it. Ooh, I got three that time. And if this doesn't work, it might be just too big. I've got other poppers that are a little bit smaller. We can try them. This used to be a really good spot for the bass should still be but there are other places that are just about as good as this one is there we go not bad well a grass pickerel that I didn't really expect it's almost a bit big for him. Must have been very hungry. <laughs> well, they keep going for it, but let's go try over at this other spot. I've always caught the trophies over here, so... I'm going to go back to the other bullfrog. It's only a three odd hook, so it should be all right for this. Let's see. I used to get them right over here. Don't know if we still will, but. Another thing, too, is it's pretty cloudy. In the Everglades, most of the time it's sunny, so we might be dealing with a weather issue, too. There we go. There you go. Okay, so these guys are over here closer to shore. And it's probably something to do with the weather. Let's keep. Let's try over here close again. See what they do here. <coughs> and he didn't hit as hard as I expected him to. 
They seem a little bit lethargic. There we go. Oh, that was a good bite. Way over there, huh? Oh, this is a big fella. This is a big fellow. Oh, yeah, this is nice. This could actually be a. Uh... Oh, good gosh. A bowfin. I was going to say snakehead. That's what a lot of people call them. Judging from its size, but it's a hefty fella. Yep, I was right. Big old bowfin. I really didn't know they go after the poppers. Haven't really fished for them before. But yeah, most of the time you'll find them over here. You'll also find the large mouth bass, the bigger ones, but there's so many bowfin that you may end up having to deal with them. I don't mind catching them. It's still fun. Okay, we got something else here. It's not as big as the last fish. Might be a young bass. I kind of had a feeling just for, due to its size it fought like a bass though. The bowfin didn't quite fight that hard. He stayed underwater. There we go. Yeah, another big one. I bet it's another. Bo well, I don't know. It's, if it's a bowfin, he's a big fighter. I will tell you. Yeah, I think it might be a bowfin. Yeah, it's a bowfin. Well, he fought pretty good. Let's see here, guys. Let's switch to something different here that we haven't used before. Let's try a frog. See what that does. See, especially with that those lilies over there. I kind of like to see what happens if I use that. Been a long, I have tried the frogs, but it's been a while since I've tried them. Well, something went for it, but he wasn't serious enough. Let's try over close to shore. I'm seeing a lot of activity over there. There we go. Oh wow. This is a big fish too. <coughs> Don't know if he's another bullfin, but we'll find out soon enough here, but he's definitely got some heft to him. Yeah, it's a bullfin. 
I saw his colorations. Yeah, it seems like most of the bow fin are biting today. I don't know what the deal is. Bass somewhat. I know they go... Wow, that was fast. I know they go out deep. Yeah, they definitely go for these frogs. But they're definitely closer to shore. That's... Yeah. I think we're going to keep going up here close to shore. Damn. All right, guys, frogs are frogs are it. <laughs> At least for this weather, it seems like the yellow is really attracting them. Nice large mouth. Uh, one did try to go for it, but he didn't quite latch on, and he went again. He's kind of determined. He's just not fast enough, I guess. Alright, since they're close to shore, that's what we're going to fish. It. They just can't seem to get their cells latched onto it. I, it doesn't seem to matter with the speed, but it's weird. I'm going to take a look at something else here. There's a patriotic walker. Yeah, I think we might try that. Just to switch things up a little bit. There we go. Wow. Okay. The Patriotic Walker did pretty good. Let's see here. Probably a bowfin. Yep. Yeah, this cloudy day I'm getting a lot of bowfin. It's not a bad thing though. Looks like the sun's coming out a little bit. Yeah, we'll try on this side and probably switch back to the frog because it is doing a lot better, honestly, out of all of them. And I think it may have just been because of its, of its coloration. Yeah, guys, I think we're going to head over here and take our frog with us and see at this other fishing point right over here. Maybe the chain pickerel or the grass pickerel might go for it. So let's switch back over to that. Since we're focusing on top lures, I can't do the, any of the cranks or anything like that, but <sighs> I 
I'm not sure what's going on. I keep seeing them go after it, but just not catching up to it. It's really strange. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what, let's see. I'll switch again. Go back to the bullfrog again. This will be our final try here. Then we may have to go back to something else. I started out doing some bottom fishing when I first got here and caught quite a few catfish early on. So over there the catfish are going to should bite pretty good. And on the opposite side from me here, I bet you, there we go. Alright, that's better. I bet you that the freshwater drum are going to bite really well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd kind of like to try this again on a sunny day. Cloudy day, poppers, it's a little tougher. A little tougher. I think we're passing the peak anyway, so... just not be the time of type of weather for that they may be going deep Let's see here just for giggles before I quit here let's try one of these three foot crankbaits and I'm gonna use the blue because it should stand out a little bit better Be damned. That's what it is. Didn't take long for that to get attacked. And it's a chain mm. pickerel. Those are rare here. Yep, those are actually rare here, so not even a young one. Yeah, it looks like they're going for deep stuff. Ah, well. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Hopefully I'm going to get enough cash here to be able to move back to Tiber River. But if I discover anything interesting with some of these lures and with bottom fishing, I will definitely do another episode if you so desire. So guys, until then, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.